Hi everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have another Brankyo pod to show you, however, this time it is not a fairy shrimp. This is the Playa Clan shrimp, scientifically known as Lemtesteria complexamanis. This is one of the larger clam shrimp species in North America, and they can be found in seasonal bodies of water known as playas. However, they're not limited to these types of habitats, and they can also be found in rock outcrop pools. Moreover, the species tends to co-occur with many other branchiopod species, like the beaver tail fairy shrimp and the rock pool fairy shrimp. One of the unique aspects about the playa clam shrimp is that these guys are capable of sexual reproduction, while a lot of other species will produce eggs through parthogenesis. For this species, you can actually differentiate the males and females. The males on one hand are much larger, almost twice as big as the females, and the ones that I do have here are green in coloration, however this is due to algae being grown on their shell. Females on the other hand have a more orange tint to them, and you can actually see the developing eggs just underneath the shell, and these eggs are also a bright orange color. For the mating process of this species, it's quite similar to other clam shrimps that sexually reproduce. The males are in pursuit of a female, and once they do find one, they latch onto her and kind of drag her around until the mating process is over. For how long they are attached, I'm not too quite sure. I haven't spent enough time watching them, but it is at least for a few hours, it seems. As far as other behaviors of the species, they tend to be benthic animals, which means they stay towards the bottom of the habitat. And all they do is kind of swift around, dig through the soil, look for debris to feed on. Um, they are also scavengers though, so if there is a carcass of some sort of animal, they will all clump up and devour that carcass. If you guys couldn't tell already by watching the clam shrimp swim, these guys are quite clumsy and not very good swimmers. They actually have these attendages at the front of their body, and this is what they use to prepare themselves throughout the water. If there was substrate in this tank, they would probably get around much better, however, there's not much for them to grab on. They also have phallopodia, which is the little leaf-like legs that are um, hidden within their shell. That can also help them swim, but it's not as efficient as those long appendages. This is all the information I have now about the Playa Clam Shrimp, but hopefully in the future I can create more in-depth videos once I do get better equipment, and additionally I will have more Clam Shrimp species to come into the spotlight. If you really like this video and you want to see more content about Brinkyopods, please give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel.